Ma chérie, mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight and now we invite you to relax. Pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Shelly, and we'll provide the rest. Soup de jour, hot orders, when we only live to serve. Try the grey stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, this, this is France. And a dinner here is never second best. Come on, indulge your men. Take a glance and then you'll be a guest We are guests to be a guest Beef ragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding and flambe We'll prepare and serve with flair and culinary culinary You're alone and you're scared But the banquet celebrated No one will be a complaint You are the platforms and the training Tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlestick and it's all in perfect taste that you can get Come on and lift your glass You want your own free pass To be a guest If you're stressed It's fine dining we suggest Be a guest, be a guest, be a guest Life is so unnerving For a servant who's not serving He's not whole without a soul to wait upon Good old days when we were useful Suddenly those good old days are gone Ten years we've been rusting Needing so much more than dusting Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills Those days we just lay around the castle Flappy foot! And lazy, you work gin and oops a daisy. It's a guess, it's a guess. Six alive, well, I've been blessed. One big pawn, thank the Lord. I've had the napkins freshly pressed. With dessert, she'll want to, and one day that's fine with me. Long the cups do their soft chewing, I'll be bubbling, I'll be growing. One big pawn, piping hot, heaven's sake, she's such a spot. I'll clean it up, we want the company in dress. We've got a lot to do, is that one lot or two? For you, I guess. She's a guest, she's a guest, she's a guest. Be a guest, be a guest, I command is your request. It's ten years since we've had anybody here, and we're obsessed with your meal, with your ease. Yes, indeed, we aim to please. While the candlelight's still glowing, let us help you, we'll keep going. Course by course, one by one. Your shout, and that by done. Then we'll sing you off to sleep as you digest. Tonight you'll pluck your feet, but for now let's eat to be a guest. Be a guest, be a guest, please be a guest. Au revoir. It's me, the hostess, with the mostess. Yes, boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Potts, and I will be your host for today's episode of Leo Wright Studios TV. Yes, and today we will be drawing one of my very good friends. He's known as Lumiere. He's a candlestick, a very big candlestick. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started, everybody. So everybody get your pens and paper at the ready, as we are about to start drawing. In the words of the very famous Leo Wright from Leo Wright Studios TV, we will start by drawing a very simple circle. Now draw a cross down the circle. This is going to mark a way really long, long nose going to go here. And now extend a big two lines up above from the circle because this is going to mark out where my friend Lumiere's candlestick goes. Yes, it's a whole nine inches tall. 
Now we're going to do two eyes either side of the nose, yes, just like me. And now a little mouth, you see, this is where he's rapid son all day at me with that big mouth of his, ha <laughs> ha! Now we're going to add in a few little details, including the eyebrows. <laughs> Also, we're going to draw a nice long lip going around the mouth, you see, because it's, it's part of the metal frame of my Lumiere's body. And as you can see, I'm now using a slightly darker colour pen. No need for you to get your pens out just yet, because we're currently just drawing in a dark colour so you can distinguish what lines I'm drawing now, okay? So, as you can see, I've done a little melty mark on the top of Lumiere, because as you can tell, he's hot and he's on fire! Yes, so he's a bit of a wax melting down his face, yes. I like more ear wax in here, if anyone's interested. Ha ha ha! So, as you can see, I'm just drawing a few curvy lines. One for his body and one for his arms, yes. The candelabra! Yes, so, uh, we're doing this because we're going to mark out where we're going to draw in 3D! As you can tell now, I'm now making these lines thicker and building a more bulbous body. This is marking out all of Lumiere's parts. I'm now just drawing two circles, this is marking out where each of the candles are going. Yes, it's a candelabra. He's got three candles. Yes! As you can see now, I'm just straightening some of the edges of these circles off and adding bits of detail, little bits of string, little bits of sausage little sausage shapes, yes and obviously the sausage shaped body, yes, giving the curves now adding a few wrinkle marks where his eyebrows are because when you get old like me, like Mrs Potts, you've got lots of little wrinkles above on the head, yes everybody, ha <laughs> ha we'll just draw some little flame marks Ooh, 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 flames, flames, flames. And now it's time for the inking phase, boys and girls. Ha <laughs> ha. Everybody get your inking pens at the ready as we're about to draw it over and Mrs. Potts that we've drawn in pencil. Did you know Beauty and the Beast was part of the Disney Renaissance era? Yes, this was in the 1990s when Disney had hit after hit of Walt Disney animated classics. Yes, that's true. Part of that era was The Lion King. And also Aladdin. Aladdin and his flying carpet. <laughs> So keep going over with your ink pen, splish splash splosh, yes, splish splash splosh, haha. <laughs> so our next episode is going to be a very festive one, you see. We're going into the realm of Christmas. I will have cleared off back to the castle by then. Now everybody, it's time to add a splash of colour to our wonderful paintings, ha. <laughs> We need a yellow, a wax colour, yes, wax is a type of colour, yes, all the same colour of my skin, yes, ooh, I need a new fake tan, somebody order me a spray tan please, thank you darlings, okay, um, so let, now let's add a bit of colour and a bit of shade, yes of course, we need to get some darker colours in there to make him feel really three dimensional, yes. I'm going to give him some blue eyelashes because, as you can see, all the best people have blue eyelash makeup. Yeah. <laughs> all right then, darlings. We're just going to add a strop of colour to the background. Again, I'm going to use a bit of blue just to match his beautiful blue eyelashes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now that looks spiffing, boys and girls. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, there's one last thing to do, and it's what all egotistical people like me like to do. Draw your signature at the bottom, because it shows who's made it, and makes it an individual piece, because the thousands of people that join in with these videos will all make the exact same drawing, but we want to distinguish it by a little bit of writing at the bottom, and also date it, and keep it in a little lockdown box, or lockdown file, and you can give it to your grandchildren in the future, and you'll be like, oh, back when I was younger, I went to, to lockdown in the year 2020. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! That's so funny! Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm so funny. So, that concludes today's tutorial, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed it, yes. And, um, remember to <laughs> keep doodling. <laughs> And remember also to post on social media. Tag Leo Wright Studios and Disney Doodle in your post, yeah? And uh, I'll see you next month for the Christmas special. Guys, it was me all along. It's me. It's Leo Wright. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. I don't enjoy doing this. It's just, uh, just thought it'd be fun. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> it's Leo. <laughs>